Well, thanks very much, Paul, and uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I too would like to echo Paul's um, comments in relation to uh, this Congress, and I uh, thank and congr congratulate all of those who have been involved, uh, all of the sponsors, Geraldine Dug, um, and certainly uh, all of those who have involved, been involved from uh, LGMA. Um, first and foremost, though, in relation to this presidency, I would like to convey my uh, appreciation to the board of LGMA for extending to me the privilege and opportunity to serve as president for the year ahead. Uh, I'll do, do that with uh, 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 my utmost to serve the interests of LGMA uh, and the local government sector. I don't underestimate the challenge that the role presents and the importance of demonstrating leadership, particularly when I reflect upon the professional way in which Paul West and those who have gone before him have responded. They've set a very high standard. I thank Paul on behalf of the board, the members of LGMA and all practitioners in the sector for his leadership. He's been a democratic and patient leader who has led with purpose and distinction. Paul's legacy is, is a federation that through constructive introspection and self-assessment is, is better placed to respond to the challenges faced by our sector. We're not only well placed to respond, but we must now be a key player in this generational phase of nation rebuilding and renewal. I'm a strong believer in partnership. Optimal outcomes arise from the contributions of more than one person. I therefore thank and commend the efforts of partners who have made uh, such a contribution to Paul's presidency. Theresa West, first among them. I thank you, Theresa, for the support that you've provided to Paul, uh, as, he, as he also acknowledged. The Mayor, councillors and staff of Kingborough Council, uh, who uh, allowed Paul to commit himself to LGMA in the manner that he did. John Ravlick and the entire staff of the LGMA National. And I do make that reference to John Ravlick and staff all too often without nominating those staff. Paul has done it, but I say it again. Merv, Lauren, Helen, Angela, Jackie and Samira. Uh, they all do a wonderful job together with John to make LGMA a very strong professional association. And of course the Tasmanian LGMA uh, and other state LGMAs who have supported Paul in his year. You have all been instrumental in making uh, his period of presidency uh, such a, a positive one. In this same regard, I therefore thank my wife Marilyn in anticipation uh, of her continuing support uh, support that she's provided to me uh, through 36 years of local government. And my cheer squad, uh, the Mayor, Councillor Ros Blades, uh, and councillors of the Greater Dandenong City Council, uh, five of whom are here today, uh, four of whom are former mayors. Uh, I have uh, pretended to myself that they've come all this way to see this handover, but um, a conference in Cairns when Melbourne is uh, uh, experiencing um, very low temperatures must also have something to do with it. But I, I thank them immensely for their support of me today uh, and at all other times. There has also been a representative group of staff here from Greater Dandenong and I hope that they too have uh, enjoyed the experience of networking uh, and the opportunity to learn and pursue, uh, understand best practice. Uh, the support that Council and the people of Greater Dandenong have extended to me is applied to all staff in our organisation. And I believe that it's a, that is a culture that is enhancing Greater Dandenong being regarded as an employer of choice. Priorities for me for the year ahead uh, are those that are documented in the National Strategic Plan. And my objective is to ensure that we achieve our strategic outcomes to the greatest effect through innovation, synergy and collaboration. These priorities will include uh, all of those things that we've heard over the last few days. Infrastructure, contributing to a national focus without losing sight of the critical importance of local needs. Climate change, and how, what more graphic example could we have uh, seen of that uh, with the, the uh, um, Barrier Reef uh, uh, speech today. But climate change, and irrespective of any uh, EF ETS outcomes, we have much to do and achieve through mitigation and adaptation. Financial sustainability, we cannot claim to uh, any particular achievements until solutions are found for the most vulnerable and challenged LGAs in this nation. And of course, skills shortages. 
The age wave generated by the boomers is bearing down upon us and we must determine solutions for the next generation of local government. The federal government is looking for leadership in these areas and other important areas. We have demonstrated in the space of the last few days that we have many solutions and if not, competence and capacity. And I should add that through some spine tingling contributions of emerging leaders, a future capacity to develop answers for federal consideration. We cannot miss this opportunity to be at the forefront of contributing to locally based policies and solutions that will ultimately benefit a resilient and sustainable nation. I want to stand before you in 12 months time and say that LGMA National has taken that next step and is incrementally better placed to be a, point, a first point of professional referral. So please diarise now and join with me on the tw from the 20th to the 23rd of May in 2012 in the beautiful city of Perth, where we convene once again to continue our processes of professional development and sector contribution to matters of increasing importance to our communities. The conference theme will be reframing local futures, stewardship to leadership. And how more relevant a theme can we have in terms of preparing our communities and ourselves for the future challenges that lie ahead? I hope that many of you, like myself and Marilyn, uh, are taking advantage of the beautiful, beauty and wonderful uh, hospitality of this region over the next few days. And may I, in, in looking at Lynn Russell over there, commend Lynn and uh, uh, Mayor Val Shears. Uh, for the wonderful way that you've presented your town. It's a beautiful town and a beautiful region. And um, I appreciate too the resolution that you had passed, uh, Lynn, to um, get some good weather during this period as well. So you've done extremely well. But I hope that you all are taking the opportunity to extend your stay here. Uh, but when you do venture home, please do safely, but also do so with a purpose of making a difference. Uh, thank you once again, and I look forward to seeing you all in 12 months' time.